here is how you will go ahead and color in the cat nose. So you will take your bingo dauber and you're just going to outline the entire nose with the India ink. And then you're going to go ahead and make a line up through the middle that comes about up to the midway point. And you're going to make two nostrils kind of where it uh, curves out, kind of looks almost like a mushroom. Okay, once you have that, you're gonna let that dry, and then we're going to go ahead and use um, the light pink, I think there's only one pink, so the pink, and this tan color. Now, if you end up um, getting an oil pastel that has some other colors on it, the easiest way to clean that off is just to color with it. So you're literally just going to color that right off. So just like with the eyes, what we're gonna do is use um, the darker color on the outside of the nose, and then we're gonna use this lighter color to blend in towards the center, okay? So if you use the Bingo Dauber correctly, this ink should dry pretty quickly. It's just a little bit damp on the nostrils, uh, and uh, just a little spot up here. So what you're gonna do, I'm gonna actually go around and kind of color in towards the center of the nose. So I'm gonna color around this line too a little bit here. And just coloring, pointing towards the middle of the nose. So coloring in strokes that point out. And I'm gonna go around the nostrils too. I'm going to go around this side. And then I'm going to go around this edge here along the top. If your bingo uh, dauber is coming out a little too fast or you let a little bit too much come out too fast by squeezing, you will have to wait to color because you don't want the ink to get into the oil pastel. Okay. So now that I have the light or the regular pink, I'm gonna go in with a lighter color. So if you have some of these little crumbs or anything, it just kind of brushes off carefully, but we do want this to kind of mix in. So I'm just gonna do the same thing, coloring round, but uh, what I'm doing is I'm actually going over the pink a little bit too. And that way it kind of blends with it. And you can go back and forth. Like I kind of colored over some spots that were, that were white. So I might want to add a little bit more pink back in here. And this will give the look of that cat nose. Most cats have um, pink noses, not all of them, but it's just one way that you can color this in. Unless you wanna do the black nose, like the dog, then that would be kind of in the same way. And then just kind of finishing this out with the tan, um, and then just making sure that it's blended if you wanted to go in in any other areas, like I could maybe lighten up kind of in the middle here on either side. But it's nice if you already have another color down because then they blend really nicely. So then the light part is towards kind of like the middle top and then it's darker around the edges. Sorry if that got a little bit off the screen there. <laughs> 